What's up, Fire Family? Hey, Fire Fam. Happy Friday. I hope you guys are having an amazing Friday. It is the weekend, y'all. We made it to the weekend. I hope you guys have an amazing three-day weekend. Yesterday, I kept seeing four-day weekend. I had to catch myself. I'm like, it's not a four-day weekend, Ash. <laughs> so I hope you guys have an amazing three-day weekend <laughs> uh, with Memorial Day. So yes, guys, let's hop into your weekend reading. Let's see what's going on. You guys know that this is a general reading. It is a collective reading. It is for all zodiac signs. So please do only take what resonates and report it to fit. As always, sending you guys lots of love, light, healing, energy, and abundance. XOXO. And I want to say thank you to everyone. Um, I really love and appreciate you all so much. I'm going to make sure I tell you guys in every other video or in every video because I really do love and appreciate you guys so, so, so much. I want to say thank you to my new subscribers. Thank you for all the love and the support with the personal readings, my online store, the wedding donations, everything. You guys mean a lot to me. And I appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart. You guys are amazing. <laughs> so let's hop into this reading fire fam. Let's see what's going on with you guys for the weekend. We're just going to do, do this as a weekend reading. All right. I still have um, the Zodiac readings coming out. Um, so be on the lookout for those. It was something else I was going to say. Oh, yeah. If you guys are part of my email um, club, make sure you guys check out the Memorial Day sale. I might post it to the collective as well. But make sure you guys check it out. All right. Um, other than that, we can hop in, y'all. Let's see what's going on. All right. Sorry, y'all. I was just checking my phone. Because baby Connor is leaving me today, y'all. His daddy is on the way. They can get him for the summer. So I'm going to miss my baby. One down and two to go, y'all. Y'all know I get my summers and my seal. So, yes. Let's see. All right. Universe, spirit of my ancestors, please guide me through this reading for the collective. What do they need to know in here um, for the weekend? All right. Let's see. Weekend reading for the collective. Hmm. What do I want to do? How do I want to do this reading, y'all? Let's look into the recent past. Let's see where your person's, like the heart of the matter with your person versus you. Let's kind of see how they feel versus how you guys feel. I mean, I don't know why I feel guided to do that. Because I feel like there's a lot of miscommunication or some type of confusion or... I don't know. For some reason, I feel like there was a recent breakup or some type of misunderstanding. I don't know, y'all. I don't know why I'm feeling that. So let's see. I'm just doing what I'm guided to do, so let's see. All right, let's see. What is the um, recent past when it comes to the collective spirit universe? Recent past for the collective. All right, so we have the Knight of Wands here. So it could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Did somebody move in with you guys? Or did somebody move closer to you guys? Let's see. Two of Wands. You guys made a decision. Somebody made a decision over the phone. Or you guys have made a decision about the relationship, how it was going to move forward. Because, see, on the Two of Wands, she has her cell phone in her hand. And night, the Knight of Wands, um, it talks about, like, moving. Like, it's also a card of, like, moving, moving homes or moving, stuff like that. Um, and the Knight of Wands is usually someone very sexy and attractive. So, y'all are like, ooh, I got my boots and my stuff. They're moving in. Yes. So, you guys can be a fire sign. Are your person was a fire sign? Give me one more card for the collective. This is a recent past. All right, we got the nine of pentacles. Hmm. So I don't know why this nine of pentacles is here because the way this is looking, it looks like somebody was like trying to move closer or move in with you. You guys made a decision together, it looks like. There's a male and female here. It doesn't matter. It can be same sex. It doesn't matter. But it looks like you guys made some type of decision to move something forward, like, but together. You know what I'm saying, collective? Mm. Things could have recently ended or ended badly between you guys, two pentacles. All right, but it's like, well, the nine of pentacles, this would have been like, hmm. so let's see. This would have been like your house, your shit, your home, your apartment, your condo, your townhome, whatever it is, nine of pentacles, because like she has a garden, she has carrots in her hand, which means like you already been there, like you, like it, you're already established, or you're already there you know what i'm saying like 
you have time there, you've been there for a while, okay, maybe the last couple of years, something like that. But let's see where this is going on. Let's see. Let's see why the nine of pentacles here. Let me just put on the Why is the nine of pentacles here in the recent past? Why is the nine of pentacles here in the recent past? Ace of Cups in reverse. Mm, I don't know what that's about. Seven of Wands. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if I like this right here, collective. This doesn't sit right. It's like because hmm. the seven of wands is somebody that could be like angry, upset. This is like boundaries being set. Somebody pushing somebody away, pushing someone out. Let me go into this Ace of Cups universe to look at these feelings because it looks like somebody kind of pushed somebody away or pushed somebody out, causing them to end the relationship. The Ace of Cups universe is a breakup, and that could be why the Nine of Pentacles is here. So if this is the case, it's kind of like this person feels like you pushed them out, like be, you're the reason why y'all broke up, something like that. So let's see. Why is the Ace of Cups universe? Ace of Swords universe. Yep, it was due to hostility. Arguments, confusion, confrontation. Hmm. Somebody felt like this is the wrong thing to do for you guys to move together, come closer, be closer to each other, see each other more, something like that. Ten of Swords in reverse. Somebody pretended as if everything was cool and fine. Well, this is the everything is fine in reverse card. So it looks like what happened was things were good until you guys became closer, moved in together, or started to see each other more. And it seems like there was more arguments, you know, they started to feel like maybe this was the wrong decision. They shouldn't have did this. This could be you and how you're feeling. This is the recent past collective, okay? Um, now, let's see why this Knight of Wands is here. All right, let's see. Why is Knight of Wands here? Oh, damn. Five of Wands and a Moon. So they feel like, or whoever this is, whether it's you or them, somebody feels like somebody's true color showed because the moon is something that they weren't expecting. It's kind of like, it just, it came out of nowhere. Five of wands is arguments, disagreements, pettiness, somebody being petty, arguing all the time. We have it over here. So somebody's feelings change after, like I said, moving in, becoming closer, seeing each other more. It's like, I feel like you guys thought this was going to be something hot, steamy, and passionate, and fun, and exciting. And I feel like by, by you guys becoming closer or being closer to each other, like I said, moving in together, it just kind of changed everything between you guys. And now this person is like, they just, they feel like they can't pretend anymore, or you feel like you can't. Somebody feels like, it's like they're, they were acting as everything was fine, but it's not. Somebody just doesn't feel comfortable in the situation anymore. I don't know, collective. Okay, let's see what this is about. And I don't want to say it like this because I don't ever want you guys to feel like I'm siding, you know, like, oh, them or not. But I'm going to tell you guys, there's plenty of times that I have done readings. And and I'm not trying to say it like this in any way to offend anybody. But there's a lot of times where I've done readings and you guys have come to me as if you, like, were the victim. Oh, this person hurt me. They did this, they did that. And then once I get into the reading and see <laughs> you know both sides i'm like okay well you get what i'm saying so i hope this doesn't trigger you guys you know but um if this is resonating with you just like be honest with yourself okay because no one is perfect and at times we we do do things you know sometimes things are our fault i don't know if you guys remember way back when I first started my channel, I told you guys like when I ended things with Connor's dad and I told you guys how I showed up and after I healed, I seen where I like went wrong in the relationship. You know, like I was like cold, I used to be mean, I used to do this, I used to do that. It was really both of our faults, but as I healed and grew, it made me see what I needed to work on, what I needed to fix within me. And not just like, oh, he, 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 you know? It was like, okay, Ash, take accountability. What did you do wrong? You weren't perfect. I know me. 
I know my attitude, I know how I am, I know how I could be, I know my mouth, certain things like that. So I had to, it was hard, but I had to look at it like, damn, like, okay, this could have been the reason, this could have been that. That's not why we broke up though, but just reflecting back on that and like other relationships when I comp like, you know, when I looked at my other relationships, I'm like, mm, okay, if I did this, this and that differently, then I would probably got this, you know, in return or this would have been different or maybe that relationship would have lasted or whatever, you know, but I'm just saying that because whoever this is resonating with, it could have been them pushing you out or pushing you away. Okay. But they just felt or whoever this is, like I said, felt like somebody was like very petty and wanted to argue about everything to the point where it pushed them away from you, pushed them out of your life. Or it's like they are just like, look, I try to deal with it, but I just can't anymore. Okay. So somebody is, that's how they're feeling. This is the recent past. Somebody is feeling like I just, I can't deal with it. I tried. I thought it was a good idea, but it's just not going to work out. You know, like what I thought was going to work out, it's not going to work, okay? And I'm not saying, like, I, again, I'm not saying that you guys did this. This could have been them that did this to you and, and, and made you feel like you need to end it or wanted to end it, okay? Um, but here it looks like you guys pushed them out, okay? Um, I mean, I have no other way to put it, guys. But we're going to continue to pull cards, okay? Because trust me, like I said, I've seen it before. I've even had you guys book with me and, like, be, like, very aggressive and, you know, snap and go off on me over something that y'all didn't read or you didn't read my terms and conditions or you didn't read your confirmation email and you'll be snappy and you'll, like, go off on me and then, you know, I'll, like, and not say it like this, but, like, I'll be like, well, damn, like, if y'all are doing that to me, I can only imagine what y'all were doing to your person, especially if you guys are coming to me like, oh, well, they said this about my attitude and stuff. And, I, and sometimes I'm like, like, okay, like, do you see how you're treating me and going off on me? But you want me to put energy into giving you answers and confirmation. So for some of you guys, it just was a lot of like arguments, you know, hostility, you know, um, arguments. Okay, but like I said, if it's, if again, I'm not going to keep repeating myself, and I'm going to just say this if it wasn't you, then it was them. Okay, so let's pull a blockage here really quick, a little blockage and see what was going on. Okay, because somebody is going to break up with somebody. Somebody's going to end things. Um, they rather be single or you guys are going to be single uh, because they feel like this is just too much to deal with. They feel like you just switch up and change up. The moon is somebody that switches up, changes up. Somebody that is moody. One minute they're nice, one minute they're, they argue, you know, so... I mean, with the five of wands there, you know, and it could be also that you guys are just two different people. You guys see things totally different. You know, what they feel like is not worth arguing about. You may feel like it was worth arguing about, something like that. And maybe you guys just had your differences, okay? But let's see um, why this is coming up in the uh, recent past. What's the blockage here? Why is this here? All right, so we have rushing and we have fear of cheating. All right, so you can't hurry, love. The right person is coming in. For, okay, we have fear of cheating. Not everyone cheats. You need to open your heart and trust your partner. So there was trust issues here. Okay, you guys rushed into something that you guys thought you guys were ready for. Okay, and it looks as if you guys weren't really ready for this to happen. Okay, you guys maybe should have just slowed down. But there were some insecurities here. Somebody feared that somebody was cheating or was going to cheat on them. Somebody was comparing the other person to their past relationship or something like that. Okay, um, hmm, why do we got body shame here? The devil, somebody felt unattractive, okay, which is weird because it looks like there was sexual energy between you guys here, okay. Hmm. Okay, what happened was somebody okay things could have started out like really hot and steamy and then maybe the sex or certain things you guys were doing slowed down because we have the hermit here but it's not because this person was not attracted to you guys and again i'm gonna tell you this and don't get triggered or get mad when i say this the reason why things change sexually is because of someone's attitude or the way somebody was coming off it just made them feel 
like it's not that they don't feel like you guys are set like they think you're sexy and attractive yes they are attracted to you. the devil's there that sexual energy but it's like your attitude or these arguments and stuff weren't sexy and attractive so that kind of made them fall back and not want them like they didn't want to like ha like be intimate with you guys as much or have sex and stuff like that or it's just like with everything they were dealing with or whatever you guys were going through sex was like the last thing on their mind yeah so this person could just start being cold not really talking to you or you know like you guys weren't talking but having sex with this and feel the same something like that okay but that's what this is telling me so um i don't know guys this is this is what i'm getting okay don't shoot me all right don't shoot the messenger like i said i hope it does not trigger y'all all right but that's the recent past let's look into um Let's see how this person feels towards you guys. How does this person feel towards the collective? How does this person feel towards the collective? Oh, yeah. See, look, the Knight of Swords is in reverse. We have swords. They feel like you're cold, heartless to me. They feel like you broke your you broke their heart. Okay, they feel like they tried to offer to you, maybe it wasn't enough. You know, we'll go into the page of pentacles, but they felt like they, you know, they were trying to get this off the ground, like this relationship off the ground. They made an offer, you know, you guys, you know, maybe talk for a little while because the page of pentacles is like studying somebody, getting to know somebody. But maybe they felt like, you know, coming towards you, like I said, moving in together, whatever they did, they felt like it was the right thing to do. But with the knight of swords reverse and the three of swords, that's somebody cold. That's somebody that makes somebody cry. Oh, let me move my super glue from my computer. That's like, it makes somebody cry. You know, there's tears here. All right, Knight of Swords reverse is somebody that's out of control. They're rude, they're disrespectful. They say hurtful things. All right, they're a know-it-all. You can't tell them nothing. They don't want to listen to you. They talk over you, okay, with this energy here. And this is how they feel towards you guys. So something happened, Collective. I don't, I can't say. Like I said, I know a lot of you guys are probably going to disagree with this message in this reading. But, you know, this is how they feel. Let's go into this, uh, go into the Page of Pentacles. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? Why is the page of pentacles here? Three of pentacles. Yeah, they really thought it was going to work out. They wanted to really work things out. They actually wanted to see this go somewhere. Page of pentacles, three of pentacles. So they had intention. They had good intentions here. It's like they really wanted to build and have a relationship with you. Okay, this is somebody that like wanted to move in. They wanted to see where it was going to go. They wanted to be with you guys long term. Three of pentacles. It's a good card. It's like long term. It's like it can also be a card of like taking things to the next level, even though it's a three of pentacles because it talks about a partnership. It talks about, you know, possibly like an engagement, marriage, you know, stuff like that. So whoever this was, they had good intentions. Like they actually wanted to like see this this relationship level up. Like they wanted to take things to the next level. Knight of Pentacles, it could be a Virgo. This is somebody that, you know, wanted a traditional relationship or, like I said, marriage. They were taking their time with you. You guys could have been moving slow. The Knight of Wands, though, I feel like that was rushed because the Knight of Wands, like, it can be kind of like the Knight of Swords. If it sounds good, looks good, or feels good, they're going to, you know, jump on it. So maybe that it did sound good, you know, at the time. But they really had good intentions, guys. And it looks like they actually wanted to build and have something with you. Um... But it was like the attitude or something they, did, they felt like they couldn't deal with. Okay, so let's see. Why is the Knight of Swords reverse? Why is the Knight of Swords reverse? Remember, this reading could be interchangeable. Flip it, switch it. Take a high resonance with you guys. Okay, I feel like I need to keep saying that. But let's see. Why is the Knight of Swords reverse? The higher font. Yeah, see, look, it could be a Taurus. This is somebody that wanted to commit to you, they wanted to be serious with you, but they couldn't take. The Knight of Swords reverse energy. Like I said, that's somebody cold, out of control, rude, disrespectful. They over talk you. Like I said, they're a know-it-all. They're arrogant. They say hurtful things. You can't tell them nothing. See, two of swords is here. So it just, like, it put them in, you know, a position of, like, damn, like, I, I don't want to end it. I hope this change. I hope we can work this out. But then they became stressed, you know, or, like I said, just the things that you were saying or doing, it just, they couldn't continue to deal with it. The two of swords, it's blind. The person is blindfolded here too. So it could have also been that they were trying to tell you things and, you know, you guys could have just been blindfolded to your ways, your actions, or maybe you're used to being this way and you don't see it like them. 
you're just like, okay, whatever. Like, I said what I said. Like, because somebody, um, well, from how they feel towards you, they feel like no matter what they say, it's like, you like, okay, like, how, like you see things differently. So then it's like, eventually they just stop talking about it or they stop bringing it up. But it's like they really try to work on things or really try to keep this relationship going, but they just felt like they couldn't. Okay? They were all in. The higher comments here, they were definitely all in. Why the three of swords here? Why the three of swords here? See, look, wow, three of swords on three of swords. So, damn, I don't know, collective. What the fuck happened, y'all? Tell me, please. Because they just, they feel like they kept taking hurt, pain, crying, enduring pain. Like, they just felt like they couldn't take no more. They felt like you guys hurt them every chance you guys could get. If this is how they feel towards you guys. Yeah, they feel like you guys broke them down. Could be a Leo. You could be a Leo or a deal with a Leo. But this is somebody that they, they try to be strong. They feel like you broke them down. This person, they, they're they a strong individual. 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 And they're good at like, you know, they can take the heat, you know, they can deal with certain stuff, but they feel like you guys were just too aggressive, too strong, very hurtful. Okay. Temperance. Look, this person was even trying to be patient. Could be a Sagittarius. But some of you guys, you guys like to fight. Okay. So you guys could have been physical with them as well. We're looking at this energy over here. It could be due to a past relationship or something. You know, maybe you guys were in a past like abusive relationship or... You know, there's just a lot of anger and, like, tension and stuff built up. And you guys could have, you know, put hands on them, threw stuff, did something to them. But whatever you did, they feel like they didn't deserve it. They thought they weren't the one to do it to you. And they just couldn't take it no more. But this was somebody that really, really, really wanted to be with you guys. Like, really. Yeah. Like, they really wanted to be with you. Three of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, the higher five. They would have did good by you guys, too. In the Page of Pentacles, they were taking their time. Like, they're still figuring out their life and certain things, but they wanted you to be a part of it. They wanted tradition, marriage, long term, something that would grow, stability. You know, um, yeah, they even told people that they wanted to be with you or possibly marry you. Or they see themselves being with you long term. If you guys are from different religious backgrounds, they even, like, told their family, like, Please be open to me dating this person. I really like them. I know we got different beliefs or different backgrounds, but I really like them. And I see things working out. But, yeah. So, let's see how you guys feel towards this person. Let's see. How does the collective feel towards this person? How does the collective feel towards this person? The full universe. So it wasn't upright, but you guys feel like this person was being like taking risks, doing stuff, maybe childish. You okay? So they were doing things that you didn't like. Seven of Cups in reverse. There are certain things, you know, or choices or decisions that they were making that you guys didn't like, that you guys didn't agree, the agree with, with the full reverse and the Seven of Cups in reverse. Let's see. Messages for the collective. How does the collective feel towards this person? Hey, the wands. Hmm. For some of you guys, it's kind of like this person wasn't doing what you wanted them to do. Or you, they weren't moving forward how you, like, they weren't moving in the direction that you guys wanted them to. Or they weren't, it was something that you wanted them to do that they weren't doing. Or you guys just felt like they were just taking risks and not making good choices and decisions. But let's see why the fool is in reverse. Why is the fool in reverse? Why is the fool in reverse? Why is the fool in reverse? The tower in reverse. The star in reverse. They triggered you guys. They did something. This has to do with the past. It does not have to do anything with them. This has to do with the past. Something in your past. So you guys could have lived with somebody or been in a relationship or something happened in your past and you are still hurt. You're still wounded. That's what happened. And you felt like they were doing it to you as well. Um, or it's like, it brought up old or past feelings, things that you need to heal from. Things that you like buried, they bottled up emotions and feelings that you've been holding in and hiding. And they could have did one thing that was like risky, maybe a red flag or called late or showed up late. Or they did something, to, whatever they did, it, it triggered a past emotion or feeling. It triggered something in you, but it wasn't from them. 
okay whatever it is though it made you guys like want to give up lose hope and faith you guys just didn't trust him so then trust issues came but this has to do with some type of past situation that you guys are dealing with all this major arcana here this is something of the past i mean it could have been that they did something to you don't get me wrong maybe they did maybe they did step outside the relationship maybe they did do something you know i didn't i'm i don't see that right now but they could have done something whatever they did you felt hurt you felt betrayed okay so whatever they did you felt hurt and you felt betrayed by whatever they did and you felt as if like you couldn't trust them you couldn't deal with them you couldn't fuck with them no more and i just feel like either that's what made you come off like this and that's why they feel like this or it's like this person um did something that a past person did to you and it really hurt you and damaged you and triggered you okay if not if it's not either one of those if it's not um let's see let's go on to this because it's like i you guys could have also told this person like look i'm cool and everything's good as long as you don't hurt me and lie to me they could have hurt you and lied to you guys or something and you just went cold and start doing this and arguing whatever you guys did but let's see why this ten of swords is here pay the wands for some of you guys you thought they were just too flirtatious you know you felt like they were too flirtatious they probably know a lot of people you're like mm, you you talk too much you know you always kiki chichi and with everybody you need to cut that shit out okay for some of you guys you could have just been jealous maybe they know a lot of people or it's like you felt like they were like just too flirtatious too talkative something like that or you thought that they were talking to somebody else and wanted to be with them or something like that you thought they were dealing with somebody else while you guys were talking but let's see why well, page of wands here once the page of wands king of swords the queen of pentacles but they were being honest with you guys though with the king of swords queen of pentacles when they told you they wanted to be with you i don't fight they were cheating or doing any of that to you guys but let's see did this person cheat on the collective i mean but you know this is a collective reading so i can't say for all of you guys but let's just see what it says did this person um did this person cheat on the collective did this person cheat on the collective No, but they were really close. Uh, where's my package at? They were really um. You're smart. See, you listen. Good job. I love you for that, Carter. I'm giving you permission to go open the door and get my package and bring it to me, please. I'm glad you listen, cause any other time y'all run downstairs and open my damn door like y'all crazy. Sorry y'all. I'm glad they listened this time. I told them to stop opening the door. I'm like, you don't know who the hell is at the door. Every time the doorbell ring, I'm like, you don't know what it is. But I saw it was UPS, but I'm like, y'all don't be knowing who's at the door. Um. So you guys thought that they were trying to get back with an ex. They could have been just too friendly with an ex, you know. Um, But it's interesting because whoever this ex is that they were dealing with or whoever this is, they, um, the queen of swords in verse, she's not nice. She's oozy like a bitch. You know what I'm saying? Or she cheats, she lies. This is somebody that hurt them. This is somebody that hurt them, played them, did them wrong. You can just sit right there on my ottoman, baby. Thank you. They hurt them, they did them wrong. And they were being a little bit too nice or friendly lately with this person and it made you feel some type of way because you're like okay i thought this person hurt you lied did whatever and now y'all are being friendly or you're talking to your ex something like that so i feel like that could have been what it is or what it was but for some of you guys but i don't see where they wanted to get back with that person though i mean i don't see why they want to get cool with that person either because of how it came out but i mean let's see I mean, why is the seven of, um, I mean, not the seven, why is the queen of swords in verse with, um, what is it between them and their ex, or them and this, their baby mom or ex-wife or something, whoever this person, whoever the queen of swords in verse is to them, why is the queen of swords in verse? Yeah, somebody that was difficult and that gave them a hard time. Yeah, this relationship, it's over, it's done. They don't want to be with them, so, yeah, whoever this person is, they stressed them out, they were very difficult, that's why they ended it. It wasn't a good situation. It's not somebody they want to be with. Um, you know, it's not really telling me why they were talking again. But, you know, I just feel like there was nothing there. Nothing to worry about. But let's see. Why were they being nice and being friendly to this queen of swords reverse? Mm. 
for some of you guys, it wasn't really about them, like, wanting to, like, be nice to them. They have a family with them, like, children or something like that with them. You know? So, I feel like maybe they were just in a better place or space and felt like, okay, well, we need to get along for our children's sake, you know? Even though we didn't work out, let's try to get together for our children's sake. They still don't fuck with them. Seven of Wands in the store, they still think this person is a bitch and evil on me. But they got children or something involved. Yeah, Six of Wands. Looks like they were trying to co-parent. Yeah, see, six of, six of Wands, Ten of Cups. Could we come together? Could we get along? Yeah, that's what they were trying to do for some of you. For some of you. That's what this was about. It wasn't about, like, them messing around or doing something behind your back or anything like that. It was about them really trying to, like, bring the kids together or get the kids or something like that. Something with family, kids, something like that. They weren't trying to get back with them. No, I don't see them as trying to get back with them at all. All right, why is the seven of cups in reverse? The five of pentacles. Yeah, you just, you felt like the love was, it was, it was starting to feel unrequited. You felt like you guys, for some of you guys, you thought you were going to lose them to this person or you just felt like things were going to end or you were like, not this again, you know, I'm going through this again. I'm about to end another relationship. It's about to be over. I feel like you guys could have jumped, jumped the gun a little bit for some of you guys, but whoever this ex is or whatever, they weren't really like, they don't want to get back with them. They just want to get their children and they want to be on good terms and co-parent. And I mean, how I feel is like, if you have children with somebody, why would you not want to co-parent? I mean, that's just my opinion. But, you know, we have the Eight of Wands here, Six of Pentacles in reverse. Um, so some of you guys are starting to feel used, taken advantage of, put the lovers is here. I don't know, collective. I mean... I don't know, y'all tell me. Cause I'm not seeing anything bad. I'm just saying, like, if they did do something, I'm not seeing it. But maybe they did do something to you guys. But whatever it is, it like something triggered you. It brought past, it brought back past feelings for others of you. You thought you were gonna lose them to this ex or whoever this is. Maybe they were being a little bit too friendly, and it wasn't really about that. It was about like their family coming together, family and stuff like that. Now, for others of you, there was a death in the family with that death card there. And that person started to feel bad. For some of you guys, you felt some type of way because you're like, okay, you're not with them no more. You know, like, why Like why do you care or something like that? It could have been like their mom or somebody that they were close to. Just because they didn't deal with them doesn't mean that, you know, like, I don't know. Maybe they were trying to show respect to the family. Like, oh, you know, sorry for your loss. Sorry you lost your mom, stuff like that. But that wouldn't change anything. But for some of you guys, if there was a death in the family, it actually brought them closer together far as co-parenting and getting along and seeing the kids and stuff. You know, so it was kind of like a good thing for them. But you guys may not see it like that for some of you guys. But um, for others of you, I just don't see where, like, they did something wrong. Like, you know, I would tell y'all. You know the readings we be getting up in this. You know, I would tell you, Collective, okay? So, I mean, I could look again and see, you know. Um, but let's pull some love cards. Let's see how they are feeling towards you guys. How does this person feel towards the Collective? All right, let's see. We have space. So, right now, they want their space from you guys. Someone wants space, give it time. We have maturity. You can trust yourself at this time. You are ready. So this person felt like they were mature and ready for this relationship with you. Um, we have self-sabotage because, oh, this says be cautious of the words and stories you tell yourself. So I feel like somebody could have sabotaged this between the two of you. You know, like I said, flip it, switch it. We have purposeful connection. So this would definitely make sense. Like I said, I know this is going to trigger some of you guys, but this connection is meant to be a lesson. And so for some of you guys, it may not come back together. For some of you guys, it will. But with the purposeful connection card, the lesson behind it was that there was something about you that needed to change. And it probably took for this person to trigger you and bring it out of you so that you can work on this shadow energy or whatever this is you are going through so that you can heal it and move forward and move on from it. I need to pull out my shadow cards. I just put them up. I think they're right here. Let me see. We have finances. Money work is playing a factor in this connection. So there could have also been like a financial issue here. You know, or this person wanted to, you know, like take care of you, be there for you. We have rejection. So it says you were not rejected. You were being protected. But let's see why this is here. Yeah. So I don't know. I can't really say. y'all. I just I don't want to say the wrong things. I don't want to offend nobody, like I said, but. They just felt like if this didn't move forward, then they, then they, that was their protection, you know, like before they got all in and before they did all this extra stuff and all that, they felt like you guys just weren't playing fair with them. You didn't see things from their perspective. They felt like you guys was kind of like pushed them out, you know, um, 
Cause I said, I'm, this reading is not for everybody. I this reading is not for probably a lot of you guys, but it's the reading I got. So we are gonna go with it. Let's see what let's see what the purposeful connection card, what this shadow work is. You guys need to work on or what the shadow message is behind it. I'll probably end up posting another reading. Um, um, and I know when I, um, when I usually post readings like this, I get those long emails and stuff. So if y'all gonna send them, I'm probably not gonna read them. <laughs> I'm just telling y'all, okay, not to be rude, but like I post this reading and somebody will send me a long message and be like, well, you don't understand why I went through this and blah, 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 cause this and that. And it's just like, to me, that's like, that's still that victim energy, you know, like shit happens, you know? Like, it happens, you know? So, I would, like, take this as a lesson learned. What do you need to fix and heal within you? Or maybe this person, what do they need to fix and heal within them? You know? But, like I said, if this wasn't about um, an ex or somebody they have kids with, this has to do with some type, some type of family situation or just being happy or you guys thought they wanted somebody back, you know, or whoever they, like, were with before or something like that. But whoever this is, you could have felt some type of way because it could have been, like I said, somebody they had children with, somebody that they thought they were going to be with long term. They could have told like, oh, yeah, me and my high school sweetheart were together for years and I thought I was going to marry them and have kids. And that person could have came back around, but that person hurt them and they didn't want anything to do with that person. But it could have just been a reason why they reached out to them, talked to them, something. I feel like maybe you guys didn't get the whole story or something. I don't know, collective, but let's see. Um, why is purposeful connection here for the collective? Oh, one came out. Unaware shadow, blindly living without considering reality. Um, blindfolded, yep, oblivious. So some of you guys, let's see, we got the unaware. So it says, let go of filters that color your perception and unveil your false reality. Live life, don't go through it blindly. So for some of you guys, if you don't see it, like, okay, so what this is telling me with the purposeful connection card is that for some of you guys you only see things the way you see things you don't see it no other way and this person could have told you a hundred times like this is not what's going on and you would have still seen it that way or took it that way however you see it however you view it however you take it in however you understand it is how you go about the situation okay so that is that that's some shadow work or something that you this is what you guys are needing to work on going to purposeful connection again i'm gonna pull a three all right, we have wasteful shadow, uses and disposes of things care, uh, carelessly, ungrateful, uh, takes things for granted. So underneath your routine life is a hidden treasure thrown throw of countless blessings, blessings yet to be realized. So like when, okay, so this is saying that sometimes when good things come into your life, you guys take it for granted or you're ungrateful or you just let go of it or throw it out as if it's nothing. So that means the people that ain't shit, all right, the men that probably do cheat, lie, disrespectful, fucking anybody, mama don't give a fuck about you. You guys will trust them and give them the benefit of the doubt and take them back and probably won't fight with them. But whoever this is, it seems like they were good or had good intentions and you guys pushed them out and gave them a hard time and seen things for how you seen it. Okay, so... Santrimonious, Santrimonious shadow. Acting as if morally better than others, okay, holier than thou. So you guys have this energy also where you like create an environment. It says create an environment of openness, trust and collaboration and look at things from a different perspective. So some of you guys could have felt like you were better than them or you're better than other people or you're holier than thou, like you never make mistakes, like you're never wrong, you would never do that, I would never do this, I would never do that. So these are just some of the messages I'm just telling you guys, this is, I'm not saying all of these are y'all's, okay? Um, but I'm just telling you, these are what came up with the purposeful connection as far as the lesson behind it for some of you guys. Let's go into the self-sabotage card. Oh, I can't. I'm not. You guys don't take cards from the ground. Let's see. We have overwhelming in their power, pushy, forceful, annoying. All right. So a situation or someone in your life may need space from you. Allow room for conditions to improve. So overbearing. And remember, the first card that came out is the space card. Okay. Let's see. Why is self-sabotage here for the collective? We have vulgar shadow. So behave offensively, rude or inappropriate, harsh, no filter, cutting, blunt, 
Exactly. And then she's flicking the person off. And we got that with the Knight of Swords reverse. Okay? How you present yourself is how people first view you. What are you showcasing? Okay? So, again, this is definitely a trigger warning for some of you guys. Okay? We got trickery, shadow, abuse their power, and manipulate others, double dealing, scammer, deceitful. Okay? So, you know, some of you guys like to be in control. Some of you guys want to have control. You know, you want to have control and power over your person or your relationships or whatever. So, like I said, this may not resonate with everybody, okay? I know it's not. But, and I haven't had a reading like this in years, all right? I remember the first time I had a reading like something like this back in Arizona. I remember I, I got cussed out so bad I was about to delete it. But I was like, no, fuck it. Because Spirit really gave me this message, you know, if there wasn't a message in it for somebody, okay? But let's just see, um, let's see, um their future intentions and then we gonna tip out all right guys so again like i said this may not resonate with a lot of you guys but this is the message please don't shoot me all right let's see their future intentions yeah two of cups are reverse it may just be over king of swords they feel like that's the right thing to do right now they feel like there's definitely an imbalance they feel like breaking up and you know be like you know they want space yeah the high priestess is in reverse so yeah the high priestess could be somebody that lashes out you know, they feel like a part of you was shown, a part of you that they never seen before. Eight of Swords is in reverse. The Four of Wands, yeah. They're no longer in their head about the situation. They don't want to be caught up in that. They're trying not to think negative about the situation. This person could have, like, moved back home or they're focused on their home, their foundation. You know, something like that. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, the World Card in reverse. I feel like they're, they're going to reach out to you eventually again, but this was just overwhelming for them. This was a lot. They feel like it was just too much to deal with. Like I said, again, I don't know what they did to y'all. Like, they could have did something to y'all. Like, y'all thought they did something. But when I looked, I didn't see where they did anything. But there was something that just wasn't comfortable with you. Something didn't sit well with you. Something you guys just didn't like that they did. And it just made you guys feel some type of way. Okay? So, um... Yeah, guys, I'm sorry. This is the reading. Two of Cups reverse. Yeah, Knight of Cups. They might come back around. Knight of Cups, Knight of Wands. The four of wands. Yeah, they might come back around. I just feel like right now, they're really hurt. And they really, really wanted to be with you guys. But they just can't take, like, whatever you guys are dishing out or whatever happened. Okay? So, I will say it again. I love you guys. Please don't beat me up. Don't get mad at me. This is the reading. But maybe there is a message in it for somebody. Maybe you guys need to hear this. So, this can be what you guys are needing to work on. Because, like I said, to me, nobody is perfect when it comes to a relationship. I don't care how perfect the relationship looks. You know, no one is perfect. I don't care what relationship it is. It can be Sierra and Russell. They got issues. There's something there. There's problems. It can be Beyonce and JJ. It doesn't matter. And I'm not saying that Russell, you know, is not a good guy or whatever. No. They look great together. They, to me, are like a beautiful couple. That is, I feel like, the couple that everybody wants. Well, he treats her very well and everything. But trust me, I'm sure they argue. I'm sure they get into it. I'm sure there's things that he doesn't like about Sierra. Sierra doesn't like about him. But they still match well together. They still get along enough to have their relationship, their marriage, and their children. And to continue to grow and stay in their relationship and their marriage. You know, so it does not matter who it is or who the couple is. Some people just don't argue, but they still have things about that person that they don't like. Or, you know, maybe it's hard for them to get along with them at times. You know, or like, for example, remember Michelle Obama? Um, it was on Shade Room a couple weeks ago. She said... Um, I think she said it was 10 or 15 years in her marriage with Obama to where she couldn't stand him. And she said that's when the kids were first born because she was at home busy being a mom. And he's and she felt like he was still able to be free and leave and go play golf and do his thing and go with his friends. And she's at home being a mom and she's being loving and nurturing to her children. Something that a man just didn't understand. And she was like, oh, I couldn't stand him for, I think she said 10 or 15 years. I don't want to say the wrong number. I think it was one of those two. But I seen it on the shade room. And I thought that was very interesting because a lot of people look up to the Obamas and love them and like them. And think that they're like the perfect couple and stuff like that. But trust me, every couple has problems and issues, okay? Or there's something that they don't like about that person at times, you know, like... Or it may be phases and cycles where you're like, oh, I love my person, but oh, they get on my fucking nerves and blah, 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 and stuff like that. But I feel like that's 
I feel like we go through that in our relationships, even when it comes to our kids and our friendships. Our love for our children, it never changes. But there are times where our children do certain things and you just like, oh, I can't wait till they get out of this phase. They getting on my nerves. Why are they acting up? Why are they doing this? Or even with your friends, it's like, you might, oh, I love my best friend. But man, lately she been bugging. She head over heels for this fool. She tripping. She doing this. She doing that. But it doesn't mean that you stop loving them or caring for them. It just means that things are shifting and changing. You're going through a cycle in that relationship are with that person that you have a relationship or love with or for so it's normal that's just how i feel it's normal but whoever this is that's resonating with this i just really feel deep down in my heart and soul that it this person this situation this relationship is definitely going to help you move forward and help you realize what you need to do or work on and fix within you. I don't feel like you guys are a bad person. I feel like you guys are a beautiful person inside and out. But I just feel like you just dealt with or had so many other issues or problems with other people. Or there's some hurt, there's some pain. It could be childhood issues, mother issues, father issues, past relationship issues. It can just be things within yourself that you're not happy about. It could be maybe you're not where you want to be at in life and there's this anger and this built up. For some of you guys, you did come out of abusive relationships or situations. You really are tired of being hurt. It can be a lot of different things. But now it's time for you guys to really sit and reflect and ask yourself, what can I do to make myself be a better version of myself? Okay, with or without this person. I told you guys, I did it with myself. When my coach sat me down, she told me to write down the people that I dated. And she told me to write... Um, the good things and the, like the things I loved about them, the things I didn't. And then she also told me to write out how I showed up in that relationship with that person in a good way, in a bad way. And I told you guys, when I went through my little few relationships, what resonated and what kept coming up was my attitude and my mouth. And I used to like get real mad real fast. Like the littlest things would piss me off. And so I was like, you know what? I was like, those are three things that I need to work on. And I also had to learn patience because I used to want to rush into things and like, oh, I love them, I like them, and rush into things. And it's interesting, like I told you guys, with my fiance, I'm totally opposite with all that. You know, like I'm very patient. You know, I watch what I say, not because of him, but it's like I word things to where it's like it's not what you say, it's how you say it, certain things. So it actually really helped me grow in a lot of ways like even if i never had met my fiance it just helped me grow because it, it it made me see what ashley needed to change and fix within herself not for them not for my fiance not for nobody for myself all the work i did was for myself not because of a relationship but it took a relationship my last relationship prior to my fiance for me to see what i needed to change about me because i was really broken and i didn't really see that and i didn't realize that and I was just pointing fingers and everything was everybody else's fault and this and that. Or, you know, I'm tired of being hurt. This person hurt me. This person hurt me. This and that. And I was bringing up stuff from, like, childhood and all that type of stuff. And I was like, you know, I was like, Ash, I, I really wanted to just fight myself. I was like, Ash, if you don't sit your motherfucking ass down and get your shit together and fix yourself, we gonna have a problem. And so that's what I did. And that's why I was single for a very long time. It took a long time to heal myself, go to therapy, you know, my coaching everything and it paid off because i feel so much better um compared to then but it's like when you're in the energy you don't feel it you don't see it you don't realize it okay so if it resonated with you guys it resonated if it didn't it didn't but i hope that in this reading you guys got what i was saying and i wasn't trying to trigger you guys but i know some of you guys will get triggered all righty um and I love you guys, all right? So, you guys are, stay dope. Y'all are dope, all right? My love for y'all is the same. I'm not judging y'all, okay? But this is the reading, guys, all right? Sending y'all lots of love. Light, healing, energy, and abundance, XOXO. Um, if it resonated, make sure you guys like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. And if you guys would love to book, you already know, fireintuition.com, or you guys can check the description box below. All right? Talk to y'all soon. Bye, fire fam.